right, Black and White Network supporters. Well, we knew this would happen. It always does. In and around any kind of a tragic mass shooting. Of course, up in Maine, there's a massive manhunt going on for a guy that, of course, walked into a bowling alley. I believe the last count was 18 dead and no doubt completely senseless, horrible, tragic event. But in true standard operating procedure fashion, that means the Democrats, and I'm talking about Joe Biden, is going to use this as an all-out assault on your AR-15s. He's already put a, 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 a big flyer out there talking about calling on Republicans to ban assault rifles. Now, anytime we talk about these kind of shootings, in most, most cases especially in this case, I, in my opinion, this shines more of a light on one of the biggest issues in this country, or maybe arguably the biggest issue outside of just political corruption, is the fact that there are no more mental asylums anymore. Mental health care has taken a plummet in this country. Back in the 70s, they decided, well, we're going to back off insane asylums, et cetera, because of the treatment that was going on in those insane asylums now instead of instead of reworking those those mental facilities and those insane asylums and i think asylum is one of the words that they can't stand but instead of doing that and improving the system and the care that that people that are mentally ill and deranged uh are getting they just abolish them and i think because of that you're seeing a spillover to things like mass shootings things like transitioning yeah i said it i think in large part that's mentally uh, a mentally driven situation right um crime in this country is in large part and all you got to do is check out you know especially in like new york which is where you get to see a lot of the videos come out of sometimes chicago these places chicago's gang warfare but there are some mentally deranged and ill individuals and they're homeless there's nowhere for them to go. They're too mentally unstable. They don't want to keep a job. They're not motivated. They got anxiety issues. They're depressed. All of this kind of stuff. And those people, simply put, should be locked away in an insane asylum. But they're not doing it. The insane asylums are, are not around. Boy, if, if Trump gets reelected, it's the one thing I'd love for him to reinstitute somehow, some way is... Mental, mental facilities in this country where people can be put in there. These homeless people that are have lost their minds are people like the guy in Maine who obviously needed to be in a padded room somewhere. And, and, and look, that's, that's a failure of the mental health system. Not, it's not the gun's fault. It's not. All right. Uh, so let's get to this. Biden... He's coming after your guns yet again. They are trying to, look, they're trying to disarm uh, law-abiding citizens, and that is not how we get down in this country at all. This is the Daily Mail. Biden again demands Republicans pass a ban on assault weapons after another senseless, tragic mass shooting in response to Maine rampage. President Biden called the mass shooting in Maine another senseless and tragic event. Sure it is. Sure it is, but you can make sense of it because the guy was mentally ill. He shouldn't have been on the streets to begin with and urge residents to heed the warnings and guidance of local officials as the suspect remains at large. He also said the federal government wasn't doing enough to deter such events and called on Republicans in Congress to work with him on legislation to ban assault rifles and expand background checks. So let's punish the law-abiding citizen looking to protect his, their home and family as opposed to help these people that are mentally deranged. Today, in the wake of yet another tragedy, I urge Republican lawmakers in Congress to fulfill their duty to protect the American people. Work with us to pass a bill banning assault weapons and high-capacity magazines to enact universal background checks to require safe storage of guns and in immunity from liability for gun manufacturers. Un unbelievable. I mean, it, to me, this is 
idiocy at the highest level. Of course, look who we're talking about here. This is the very least we owe every American who now bears the scars, physical and mental, of it hit this latest attack. No, you owe Americans uh, to see people that are locked up in a padded padded cell or a padded room and these people like this guy and like so many that are causing crime across the country to rise to be in a padded room. That's what you that's what you owe Americans, not taking away our gun rights. At least 18 people were killed in Maiden during Wednesday night's mass shooting at the Spare Time Recreation and Schemgees Bar and Grill in Lewiston. And 13 people were injured, according to Maine Governor Janet Mills. And White House Press Secretary Karen Jean-Pierre said Thursday that more must be done. Quote, this is not normal. We cannot accept this. There have been literally hundreds of mass shootings in the last year alone, leaving empty seats at dinner tables across the country and leaving those who survived these heinous acts both physically and mentally scarred, he said, she said. He, we need to make sure that weapons of wars are not in communities. You'd love that, wouldn't you? We take more action that are common sense, common sense gun laws that the majority of Americans want to see, she said. And so it is for House Republicans to listen to their constituents and listen to Americans across the country. Biden stepped out of Wednesday's night state dinner for Australia to be briefed by his advisors on the latest mass shooting. He also called Maine officials, Governor Janet Mills, Senators Angus King and Susan Collins, and Representative Jared Golden to offer federal support. The president also left the state dinner early shortly after 10 p.m. Biden had been using his executive power to combat gun violence, given that legislation efforts have gotten stuck on Capitol Hill. In 2022, Congress passed major gun legislation although it did not contain all the items Biden pushed for. It expanded background checks and provided millions of dollars for mental health services and school security initiatives. Biden has advocated for reinstating a national assault weapons ban, but Republicans now in control of the House and Democrats running the Senate passing legislation on Capitol Hill is a tough prospect. In addition to his statement on Thursday, Biden ordered flags at the White House and federal buildings to have staff until October 30th. Mills says she has spoken about the shooting twice with Biden as well as Vice President Kamala Harris. Harris on Thursday said that Lewiston became yet another community torn apart by senseless gun violence. Doug and I mourned for those who were killed and grieved for those who were injured. So uh, that's where we're at. Uh, Mike Johnson, House Speaker, I like that guy. Our hearts go out to all those involved. This is a dark time in America. We have a lot of problems, and we're really hopeful and prayerful. Prayer is not appropriate at this t- times like this. So, anyway, I'm glad somebody's willing to step out there, and there, of course, is the shooter. And that's where it happened. And there's a uh, a woman getting hugged by a man after the fact. Uh, so, and of course, like, for example, uh, Stephen King, the author, he weighed in. Of course, he's calling for a weapons ban. The shooting occurred less than 50 miles from where I live. I went to high school in Lisbon. It's the rapid fire killing machines, people. This madness in the name of freedom. Stop electing apologist for murder, he wrote. And he is a, of course, a Trump hater deluxe. He hates everything Republican or that leans right. He stays in a state of TDS. So, and obviously, whatever mental health initiatives that Biden tried to push and that got pushed through, it's that's that's not going to do it. you got to have places that are going to, to house these people in mass that are mentally deranged. And like I said, I think that spills over into a lot of social things that have become acceptable now, that are honestly probably mental illnesses, okay? I mean, there's just certain things that people want to do to their body and such and such that just isn't normal, okay? And and I've said, if you take us back 15 years and you talked about some of the things that are now trying to be pushed as just acceptable, 
you would look at somebody if they brought these things up and you'd be like, you're crazier than a shithouse rat. You're batshit nuts. Of course that is not okay. Of course that is not acceptable. And you're sick and you need a room. But now people just let it go. No, that's, that's a problem. Okay, that's a problem. Look no further than what happened at the Christian Academy in Tennessee and look at the perpetrator of that. You're trying to tell me that person was mentally stable? Nah, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Not for a single solitary second. It's not the weapon. It's the people pulling the trigger that you got to look at. Law-abiding citizens, people that are stable, are not going to perpetrate these acts. You know, and criminals, they don't follow gun laws anyway. So, I mean, yeah, I'm sure every one of these guns that kills somebody in Chicago every weekend, I'm sure they're legally registered and legally owned, right? Question mark? No, don't think so. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.